Hello, YouTube! It's me, Mr. Zero of Mr. Zero's Terror Ride. Let me enunciate that, enunciate for that, for you. It is I, Mr. Zero of Mr. Zero's Terror Ride. A ride of terror that has Mr. Zero, the clown, <laughs> sans bulbous red nose, well, bulbous, well, Fake rubber nose. I still got the boldest kind of reddish nose. Because I do this a lot. And I eat a lot of, a lot of, a lot of peppers. Because I like them. I like a little fight with my food. Speaking of food, we're going to talk about something. I'm just talking to the ladies, actually. Today, it's all about the ladies. Men, you can listen if you want. I'm just going to give you ladies my opinion. You're going to have to deal with it. I'm going to talk about something that's very near and dear to all your hearts. Your bodies. Okay, let's talk about your bodies. You've all seen the movie Eat, Pray, Love. It's something I hear women love. My wife watched it the other day on the cable. I said, Sarah, mo honey, here's a movie you'd like. And she turned to me, what do you mean I'd like this movie? And I said, well, it's just supposed to be something women like. Please watch it. And she ended up liking it, but still took offense that I said that she'd like a movie. But there's a scene in there where the main character travels to Italy and she's on a tour of food out there and she goes to Naples to have some pizza which sounds wonderful wish I could do that but she's having pizza with her friend and her friend's kind of picking at the pizza not fully enjoying it she reveals that she has a muffin top now because they've been eating too much and Julia tells her um that men generally don't care and I think all you women know that men really could care less about muffin tops. That's minor, minor baby. Wah, wah, wah. Buy a larger size of pants and quit whining about it to most men. Men like, you know what men like in women? Men like women that look like women. Except for gay guys. They like men that look like men, or they like men that look like women, or whatever their taste may be. I'm not going to judge, but I'm going to say, most men, most heterosexual men prefer their women to look like men. If they like their women looking like men, then they probably like men too. Or should probably think about trying that. See if they're more comfortable with that and stop telling their women to starve. Um, and I'm going to give you an example of this judging that drives men nuts to hear about. We've got the uh, March issue of Star Magazine, Christina Aguilera is on the cover because she's packing on the pounds because she's binging on food and booze she's hitting rock bottom on sandwiches the boozing thing is sad okay i'm gonna say that it's terrible if she's out there partying it up and becoming you know i think when you reach a certain age it's time to settle down with the drinking she's 30 years old so it's time to settle down with the drinking but um that's not really what they're talking about, though. I mean, they do bring that out, but they're they're really talking about... Here it says, Christina's fast lifestyle and added calories from food and alcohol binges wreaking havoc on her once thin 5-foot, five, five 2-inch frame. She looks about 40 pounds overweight. Now, I don't know. The last time I checked out statistics on this, and this was in the like late 90s, the average woman weighs about 140 pounds and is about five foot two inches tall so christina is five foot two inches tall certainly in this picture here they're saying that she's supposed to look like this 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 one over here not this one pay to pay no mind okay this one here that's what she's supposed to be looking like like all women that are five foot two look like that no they don't but that that's her being good now this is bad apparently. This is this is her being bad. Bad Christina. You had a sandwich. Oh look at you. Oh, you're falling down. You're hitting rock bottom. Look at you. Now obviously I'm like going, huh? Huh? They even say packing on the pounds. She turned heads for all the wrong reasons while performing at the 2010 American Music Awards in November. No, she didn't. 
if she was turning heads for the wrong reasons because she wasn't really into that performance and you could tell her dancing she's not like yeah, I just started a movie that's going to flop and I'm singing a song about you know she wasn't into it but she didn't look terrible I think that's unfair to say it's ridiculous in fact because when you judge women like this when you judge celebrities like that it's going to make women judge themselves like that we all know this it's funny because back in the 80s, back in the 70s, back in the 80s, they thought maybe they'd like to show, have models be more normal sized. Than, and women weren't responding positively to that idea. But now they definitely are. Now women are saying, hey, enough's enough. Let's have, let's have models that look like us. And so you have excellent models out there like that for that, that you don't hear enough about. You have M, Kate Dillon. Um, gosh, I'm embarrassed because I can only think of those two right now. There's one of the winners of America's Next Top Model. She was, she was a fiercely real contestant model on the show. And it's it's this it's in the mag these magazines that it's worse. You know, it's so much so much worse there. You, you, you'll you sit there and it'll take like an overweight actress. One that's known for being overweight as if that has any meaning. One that's known for being bigger. And they'll sit there and say, let, let, let's say if it was Monique. Okay, the comedian Monique. She has her own clothing line. She developed it because she knows women women of size have a hard time finding clothes that look good. Amen, sister. So she came out with her own clothing line just for just for women of size. So if she sits there, if she was able to drop a hundred pounds in a month or two, everyone around her'd be like, Oh bravo girl, you're so brave and we're proud of you and blah blah blah. You know. Heck, drop 50 pounds. I'll be, be sitting there singing her praises. But then someone like Christina puts on 40 pounds. Oh, yeah, she's a porker. I get sick of hearing about this. I guess because it's, it's, it's totally not my view. And I'd hate to think that women think that that is men's view because it's not. You guys are judging yourselves on that. At least that's my opinion. I'm a big advocate for women of size taking charge of themselves and not being afraid to go out there and show themselves for who they really are. And my wife's the same way. My wife's the same way. She always sits there and says, never buy anything baggy if you're a woman. Always show off your curves. So do that, ladies. And as far as Christina Aguilar is concerned, for the first time in her 30 years of life, she's actually looking good to this Joe here. I've never considered her attractive. She was always way too skinny for my taste. But now it's like, hey, good. It's good. She's, she's had a cracker. Good. And I guess that's all I've got to say. Ladies, enjoy your food and enjoy your lives. And don't let anyone make you feel bad for who you are. That's all I'm saying. Not to be all Gaga on Lady Gaga on you. Be proud of who you are. I was born this way, but that's the way it is. Be happy with who you are. Don't let anyone tell you that you're any less just because of how you look or how you feel. It's all on the inside of what counts. And when you reach this age, you should know that. You should spend like from your 30s on up just knowing that and telling everyone else where to stick it. And that's all I've got to say. In communication, it's the end of this geek talking.